Look, I'm probably making this video in vain since the optimal weapons are the claws and also my knuckle knives, but just in case they ever get to balancing those weapons and making all correct type weapons valid, I'm doing this combo tutorial on the Scientific Ninja Tool Violet Soul. And yes, yeah, since the latest update, the Hidden Rose Village has officially renamed the class formerly known as Attack Type to the more accurate Craig Type. I will no longer be going on long rants of the Craig Type, but instead will simply refer to the class as the Craig Type until further notice. Hashtag Craig Type in the comment section below. Now, at the time of making this video, the Scientific Ninja Tool is available inside of Tintin Shop. If you happen to find this video afterwards, you have three options. Option one is to wait for, at the very least, half a year for the item to return. Make sure you stack up your esoteric scrolls in the meantime. Option two is to join the Shinobi Shop Discord. And option three, which can be done alongside option one and two, is to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on another combo tutorial in the future. And trust me, I will be dropping the sauce. Alright, so let's get into it. The Violet Soul combos are modeled after the hand-to-hand -hand combo strings. So if you're familiar with that weapon, then you'll definitely get this weapon's combo down pack. The key difference with this weapon is of course the heavy attack, but also the full auto combo has a unique finisher. Additionally, the air combos are the same, but again, the air heavy attack is also unique. There are three key things that I want to note when using this weapon to utilize its combo potential. But before that, I'll showcase all the base combo strings that this weapon can do starting with the full auto combo of all light attacks. Now that we've got the basic combos down, let's get into some of those three key things to maximize your combo potential. The first is the air combo. Most of your combat as a Craig type will be airborne, so generally your fights will start here. However, most of your optimal combos, especially with Jutsu, are grounded. Now you can ground your opponent with Jutsu, but to save your resources, simply end your combo in the air with three light attacks. This animation your character does will cause the enemy to tumble downward thus setting up several combo options. You can connect into your other air options from here easier, or you can double downward inside your ground game. This is also great for setting up your ninja tools like Smoke Bomb or Glimmering Flame Tool that have a Smoke Bomb stagger effect on grounded enemies. Now that your enemy is grounded, it's time to get into the second key thing, and that is identifying which combos stagger your opponent. For the Violet Soul, there are two. The first is the Light Heavy combo, and the second is this kick by pressing the four light attacks. Both these will stagger your opponent, leaving you open to connect most of your jutsu and ninja tools. Earlier I said three key things, but the last key is just a plethora of tips to help you get your combos going. First, the full auto combo string has good damage and can be followed up by your jutsu. Keep in mind that the pop-up is high and a lot of your follow-up options may need to be timed or the gap closed by dashing if it's a shorter ranged attack. The heavy attack has a super far knockback that makes it nearly impossible to follow up with unless there is a wall, your action speed is buffed, or the game gets inconsistent for some reason. Unless you have Swift Step, a well-timed Wood Dragon, or Universal Pull, use this move as a combo ender. The damage is solid. The same applies for the air version. Speaking of the air version, you cannot cancel into this move after any hit in your air combo if you're too low to the ground. Use the optimal 3 air light attacks to transition smoothly into this attack. The charge attack on this weapon, and all Craig type weapons for that matter, only have a charge stun on grounded enemies, so go straight into your air combos when catching an aerial opponent. When in a skirmish, a kerfuffle, or a brouhaha, and nobody has yet to gain an advantage, this air kick is your best weapon and has a large hitbox. Once you get this attack to land, go into your drop combo and set up your next attack. Shaka cancel can also be done with this weapon, but it's one of the more difficult things to pull off because the combo window is small. However, it is funny when properly done. Don't go for chakra cancels too often though. 
since it doesn't provide any extra incentive other than trolling. The triple light heavy and quadruple light heavy that puts you into a spin kick is cool but not optimal and should rarely be done unless you want to finish your opponent this way, especially the quadruple light heavy which has a high hit counter. Lastly, this weapon doesn't get as many hits as the claw due to each attack having a high hit counter somewhat. You'll notice that your enemy will fall out around 7 to 8 hits, especially after opening with the jutsu like Imperial Wrath. To extend your combos on this weapon, have the smoke bomb in hand. Oboro Guruma is also a valid option, but honestly, when is it not? And that's pretty much the breakdown for this weapon. Super stylish animations and with the right jutsu can touch a death somebody with the best of them. Let me know in the comment section how you guys like this weapon and what are some of your favorite combos to use when rocking the Violet Soul. Don't forget to drop a like if you mess with the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.